it's Brian Prendergast here and as promised I'm putting up a video of how I have Songbook uh, Pro running with this uh, remote control software called AnyViewer. The AnyViewer on the left there in the blue is free uh, for up to about three users. So I'm doing this demo with uh, three iPads and it's for let's say a situation where there's three in the band and one guy control, controls the set or calls out the songs or whatever so the other lads can see the lyrics so have a look at any viewer on um, YouTube yourself it's very self-explanatory you basically install it on your main machine and then you install it on the other two machines and give them names alright so let's have a look so uh, as you can see, I have Soundbook Pro there. I have a second iPad and I have a third iPad. The next piece of equipment that we need is a mobile broadband. So that's one of these cheap dongles you people in caravans use sometimes, holiday ones, uh, holiday broadband things, because it's important that you're on the same network, you're on the same Wi Fi network. I've tried doing this with screen mirroring software, but the lag was too much. So, without further ado, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start up uh, the AnyViewer on my main one. Because I know that we're all connected up. Alright, so there's Brian at the top and you'll see Jimmy and Marty. The XPS is my Windows license songbook uh, thing. A computer which I'll do in a different video because it's brilliant for organizing things now second iPad I'm gonna go down and start up the it's very hard to do the phone and press these buttons at the same time and it's loading and you'll notice now Jimmy has become alive this computer is iPad is Jimmy so I'm gonna press Brian and it, there's a little button there, view screen. So I'm going to view the screen. And suddenly over on Brian's, it's saying, do you want to allow Jimmy to look at your screen? You go, yes, allow. And so now they're both looking at, at my screen. Now let's have a look at this third laptop. And again, I'm going to start up the any viewer and then you see I've named this one Marty so Marty wants to view Brian also so Martin will view Brian it's connecting and again in the background if I press it'll say there's somebody asking to view your screen and then the final thing is that your main iPad is asking you to broadcast your screen so we're nearly there start broadcast so now basically anything this has now changed so anything on this will also be shown on this and on this and that's why we have our fabulous program that we all love songbook So I've just put a song there called Bees Wing. And there she is. Right. So now I'm going to zoom back a bit. I'm going to change the song. To uh, Fisherman's Blues. Irish band. And boom. It's, it's loading up on the lads as well. Without me even touching it. So now I'm going to go. Uh, oh. Whistling Gypsy Rover. And boom. It does it. It's great like that. Now, so uh, so then the beauty is we have our Lakato Bluetooth pedal. So I can start this. On, this is in front of my mic. The lads are about five feet away. So I'm going to press right to start it scrolling. And that's scrolling there, but it's also scrolling over here. 
and it's also scrolling over here so basically whatever I do on this machine is being shown on that so uh, you can do everything that you do normally with a Bluetooth pedal on this is replicated over and it's absolutely when once you get used to it it's great now a little tip I found that uh, these two at the start were a bit laggy okay that they were jumping in a bit so I sussed out this is this is the only one that has to be remained to be done is that this little button it's hard for me to see it if you click that and go down to mode and choose high speed rather than high quality that lagging goes whereas when I had the high quality the the uh, lettering was kind of fading in and fading out whereas the high uh, speed it doesn't so again that's now set for that on that computer uh, forever if you like songbook remembers everything it's like an elephant right but it's great as i'm scrolling up on this machine they're all scrolling up it's great so the lads can see what I'm going to be aiming to play next or call out next or else a person says uh, can you do a uh, or doubling in my tears oh yeah no problem yeah blah 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 and what I do is we just got cut off there I just I just to let you know what I do I put the key of the song here rather than relying on the sometimes in songbook the key is up here i put it in the name of the song so it's easy to remember like belfast mill is in g but holy ground is in 2d that means d on the second fret of the guitar so technically that's e so 2g that means lads put the capo on the g uh on the second fret and this song is in g so that's how we do things, but you'll have your own little method for doing things. But that's um, my video. And what I did was I eventually bought multiple licenses. We said you didn't need to, but I just bought them from my own camera. And I bought uh, um, the full license of any viewer. What it was 30 quid for a year and it gives a slight bit more support and it gives a bit faster transfer but it's absolutely brilliant because once you have wi-fi uh, at your gig see if you were using hotspot on your phone which you can use and you can replicate this thing just by using a hot hotspot on your phone the problem with that is if somebody phones you during the gig or if your phone gets a whatsapp message or something it cuts off the internet and then this thing this whole thing stops working so buy yourself one of these about 30 quid and then um your grand also you're in in the middle of a break someone has said can you play a uh, sweet home alabama or whatever you're able to go into the internet and just look up the song and then have it there like go into google and You'll have the song there once you have internet at a gig. So that's the crack. Hope you enjoyed it. That's the first video with Songbook. And look forward to do doing more of them. And this was thanks to the Songbook users group. Songbook Pro users group. Uh, brackets non-official. Uh, they inspired me to make this. And the two admins helped me along the way. I think Jason was one of the names. But well done guys, thank you.